please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olesis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romania, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Hello, 台湾福尔摩沙是个小岛有一系列壮观的美景比如岛上的原住民不论是宗教三十多年来我们只要时时想念上帝而需要帮助的人
，此奖等同东方的诺贝尔和平奖。他卓越的人道善行，多年来获颁无数奖项，博得世人无数赞誉。他努力为动物发声，提倡和平爱心的植物饮食。他更许下宏愿，希望人类醒悟，众生皆神圣。缔造和平辉煌的纯素世界，动物和人类共存共荣。他以各种方式倡导纯素生活，例如广发传单。您也可以选择这样的生活：创设爱家、国际连锁纯素餐厅、无上师电视台。他也经常呼吁政府和媒体领袖。并参加气候变迁视讯会议，无论世人是否警觉，其努力影响世人自惧，唤醒人们选择善待动物的生活，并奉行慈悲之道，天下才能永久太平，救地球免于气候变迁。青海无上师多年来足迹遍布全球。从美国到非洲，欧洲到大洋洲，对大众求；从美国到非洲，欧洲到大洋洲，对大众和他的徒弟，奖金开示数百场，阐释各种灵性主题。今天有幸为您播出其中一场睿智开示。师徒之间节目《观音法门最圆满》二集之二，一九九二年五月十二日。以英语讲于台湾西湖，台湾又称福尔摩沙。It's more, more relax, you know. So people are like that, huh? Just practice. No, all the people, yes. So just practice, and then you will arrive. It will come. Understand? Sometimes you already pass that stage, and you don't know it. You keep thinking, "Why? Why? I haven't had experience." You passed it. You passed without knowing. Understand? Sometimes it's like that. Do you think now I sit here every day and see big light and big Buddhas and、uh, what? Hearing all kind of、uh, music, all that. What for? Understand what I mean? If、I sit here and wait every day for the light and all that. What for? Anyhow, you become the light. You become the sun. You don't need sunlight. You become the sun. You don't need the doctors. You become one. Understand? Yes. Yes. When I was in the Asian tour last month, last few months, one of our monks she supposed to pass the customs when we go out the airport. But then she was always thinking of me. All the way through, she was thinking, "Oh, just when can we see Master again? Just part with her. If the heart feels still, feel very sour, you know, from the from the separation." And she was thinking, thinking, Master, heart feeling so very painful. Just separate, half an hour or something, yeah, or one hour even. And then she just think like that, and she passed through the custom, and nobody check her even. <laughs> and after she go out, she say, "But where is the custom? Where is the custom?" And the people say, "You passed it." <laughs> Gone out. <laughs> she doesn't even know yet. And the sense she was looking for the custom on the street. <laughs> And other people said to her, "You passed it. It's gone. You're out now. You're free." <laughs> she could not hardly believe it. Understand? So sometimes it happened to the practitioners of the Kuan Yin method that you are talk so concentrated that you saw. Uh, eager to understand, you you to to reach some levels, and you pass it, and you don't know it.、Hmm. Same with every other kind of studies. Yeah. Sometimes you pass the exam of the high school, but you do not think that you are any wiser than when you were in the in the the, the lower grade. No, you don't know feel much difference, but you passed it. You have become a high school graduate. 
graduated instead of primary school. But you do not feel that you have grown any wiser or any much more terrific <laughs> in length or in wisdom, no? Yeah, you just study every day bit by bit without even uh, ear worrying or without even much intention. And then you pass the exam, just like we grow up every day also. Today I met one of my classmates and she said that 23 years now that we have met each other since last time. Yeah, and she's one in here. And we talk about the old day, it seems like yesterday. But actually it's 23 years already in the past since I was with her in the high school. And so many things has happened. Everyone has grown up in body and in wisdom, but we don't feel much. Understand? I don't feel much. For example, uh, you call me your master, understand? That I'm supposed to reach the high level of must of, of running method. Yeah? Very powerful, have a lot of power and everything, etc., etc. I feel no difference from you. I feel no different from before. Except <laughs> when problems arise or that I have to confront with some of the ignorant people, then I realize there's a great difference. To realize only and feel a little bit frustrated, but no, no proud, no arrogance, no, no big deal, you understand? To know it, but not to know, understand? I don't know where, what's go wrong, just know that there's a difference. It's difficult to, <laughs> to get through with each other, difficult to connect the two to mine. It feels so different, that's all. But no big deal, understand? So, like that. I don't know when I became the Buddha. <laughs> That's, all of you know, but I don't know. <laughs> all of you know that I have become Buddha. I don't know up to now. I don't know that I have become Buddha. I don't know where, which part of the body has become Buddha, <laughs> or in which way. <laughs> Understand? It's just that sometimes <laughs> that when I confronted with the, the mass ignorance, then I realize there is a difference because it's so difficult to get my idea across. So what they understand, I cannot imagine. What I understand, they cannot grasp. Yeah. So then I realize there is a great difference between the people in this world. And sometimes it is so, the, the, the gap is so great that I feel very difficult to live in this world. Understand? That is when I realize I have something different. Otherwise, I don't feel anything. You feel I have anything? No. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's good that we don't feel it. Understand? Otherwise, how can we live? It's a burden to carry wisdom, you understand? <laughs> it's a burden to carry your own Buddha nature. <laughs> if it has weight, if it has track, trace, if it has kind of uh, presence, then it's a burden for you to carry it around and to, to, to deal with it every day. And when you go to sleep, you don't know where to put your wisdom. <laughs> when you go to the market, you don't know how, <laughs> yeah, 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 how, how to carry it around. You know, people will see it. And it is a very clumsy business. Hmm. So therefore, it is good that you don't know. But you do have, you do have everything. Sometimes the one who complain the most are the one who has the most. Yeah. I told you this word is very, very complicated, <laughs> very upside down, yeah. The people who spend a lot of money are the people who look the worst, you know, on clothes or whatever, understand? And, and for example, the same with every country. Or same with every household budget, yeah? It's not how much you earn, it's how much you save that makes you uh, economically stable. It is very funny. Therefore, it's very uh, seldom that a government can be clean of financial, like... <laughs> black spots, <laughs> because, for example, I read, I read somewhere, 
He was a prime minister, and you know he has a lot of money, probably. Yeah, and everybody thinks it's a glorious position to be a prime minister in order to meet up with his expenses. Because as a prime minister, you have to, uh, how to say, have to uh, welcome so many political guests from different parts of the world. And you cannot just treat them lightly. Understand? Have banquets, dinners, parties, and all this costs a lot of money. Some times ago, one of the Taiwanese men, yeah, very wealthy, just because he wanted to show off his wealth to make a face with the world, he spent millions of dollars for one party. Invite all the people of, of the good position to his party. Spend a, millions of money of dollars just to show. And every, t every day in the world, when people exchange business, dinner, and negotiate something, they spend a lot, a lot of money. One dinner costs about many tens of thousands of dollars for each person, in not including first-class hotel, first-class air ticket, <laughs> first-class everything, limousine. Understand, everything costs a lot of money. And people believe that if they do not put up a show like that, the other partner will not look up on them, will, not look, down, will look down upon them and do not do business with them. Do not feel that they have enough power, enough money to match up with their business. Therefore, people just put up one show after another and it costs so much money, understand? To be in that position, you have to host many people from different countries, and you cannot just, uh, you know, treat them lightly because that's the way they think they have to be done. It's not like us here. Everyone come is welcome. Whoever come is the same. Understand? Yes, we feed uh, many thousands of people but with a very low economical scale, because we do everything ourselves, we make things simple, clean, and nice. Therefore, we don't need to take money, understand? Because we are well organized. We do things with wisdom and love, not with money. You don't need money to take care of people. It just know how, just know how. I have told you many times already that I dress very well, but my dress are cheaper than any of your pair of trousers. The whole thing, including, including my shoes. For example, these shoes, 200 NT. Beautiful, no? Even cheaper than the monk's shoes. Yeah. I look beautiful. 200 NT, how much? $10? No. $8? No. $8. $8. Not even, huh? Seven to eight dollars. Yes, it looks beautiful, no? And your shoe cannot be so cheap, except you buy slippers. Yeah, flip flop. <laughs> yes, and, and my dress it looks good, but it doesn't cost. I think this dress, not more than five hundred NT or something. Huh? Oh, by quite. Wait, wait. Do it then, huh? Do it, huh? So do by quite NT. Ah, five hundred NT. How much is that? Less than twenty dollars. Less than twenty dollars. It looks so beautiful and elegant. Yeah? You think I spend a lot of money? Never. I don't believe in spending. I believe in earning only. <laughs> I believe in earning and saving but not spending. Therefore, you see. People in this world, they live without wisdom. That's why they run into endless of trouble. That's why it's difficult to find a clean government. Uh, Li Kuan Yew of, Li Kuan Yew of uh, Singapore, he says something very meaningful. He says, in, in order to keep a country economically stable, huh, we have to taking care of the budget at, ho at home, you understand? The national budget have to control it. You cannot, cannot spend rashly. 
Understand? That's how they keep it that way. It's not what they earn also, but what they not spend. It's very difficult to fight just government. And, and also the people who, who, who support that, support that idea. Therefore, Singapore stay very long stable, one of the tigers of Asia. Because they, it's not that they earn a lot or their country is very wealthy or very big, but it's how they manage financially, understand? They know how much they should spend, how much they should save. Huh. Here also, you see, we don't accept offerings. We don't advertise for offerings, and we don't take money from people. Yeah, whatever comes is okay, if it doesn't come, okay. We, we don't bother about that. But we're never in financial problem, because we, we just spend what is necess necessary, but we do not over, overdo things, understand? When you came here to us, yeah, you eat so well. You have all kinds of fruits, all kinds of beautiful cakes, you understand? But we have bought them from the cheapest source. And all the cakes, mostly we make them ourselves, understand? Fresh, nutritious, and taste good. And nothing spent a lot. These cakes that you eat these days, mostly are made from our own kitchen. And all the food are made from our own kitchen. Vegetable fresh, nutritious, and don't spend a lot of money, understand? We feed thousands of people, but we never go bankrupt. We never have to, to take blackmail in money or... <laughs> yeah. So I think the best government, the clean government, has to practice some discipline, has to know some wisdom, meditation. That's why in the old time, Chinese people say, for xiu shen, xi jia, zi guo, ping tian xia. First, we have to practice self-discipline. Then we can take care of the family. Then we can rule the nation. Then we can pacify the whole world. That is very, very wise. But it's a pity not many governments apply this wisdom to their practical use of ruling the nations. That's why our world is going bankrupt. That's why many uh, powerful nations is downgrading because of not knowing this principle. I think it is difficult to become a clean government, except like our organization. You know, everyone is dedicated for the good cause of the whole and not for ourselves. Then, only then, is a true government spirit is born. Otherwise, it's difficult. If you run after the world, run with the world, and matching with each other about how great a party would be, how, <laughs> how much we spend more than the, the opponent, then we're always in trouble. If we imitate the world, we make competition with the world, then we're always in trouble. We have to do different. We have to begin anew if we want to turn the table and make our world become a paradise. Everyone must apply this principle, understand? Must use our wisdom in all things, even in the way we dress, understand? Hmm? We have to go with our, with our position and ability to earn the money. Cannot go with a neighbor. But in order to do that, we have to be stable inside, actually. Because most of people like to compete with each other. They cannot bear it if neighbor have a Benz, Mercedes, for example. Understand? Therefore, we have to be first stable inside. Therefore, we have to meditate and find our own true worth so that our self-confidence will never be wavered. It doesn't matter how many people say bad things about us or criticize us or try to shake our faith about the way we have to do things. That's why meditation is first important. Meditation stabilizes our men mentality, widens uh, widen our vision of life, 
open many new ideas. And then we live a very fulfilled life without having to struggle very hard. Understand? <clears throat> Therefore, people like to come to us because they feel very relaxed. No pressure of worrying that whether we have to give money and how much, and who knows who give how much and all that. We don't bother about this. Everybody come, they know that they're truly welcome, are truly loved, and truly are supported to develop their own wisdom, their own better uh, way of life. That's why people come and don't want to leave. <laughs> I have be, even been in some of the so-called spiritual ashrams in India, but still you have pressure of having to donate something. They count very, <laughs> uh, one week how much and that. Pro they don't take it more, but probably you still have to think about that, understand? And there will be talk about who doesn't give and who stay longest, and who give less and stay long, and who give more and stay less and all that. <laughs> yeah, they talk about that even though they don't openly tell you, or maybe they do, but you still feel it's something, you know, pressing, and it's, it's not easy. You understand? Mm. Uh, here we also allow you the freedom to, to uh, contribute, <laughs> to protect your dignity, should you want to do it. Understand? But we have, give no pressure or no hint in nothing, because we don't need that. Whatever you give is already too much, because we don't need it. We already don't need it. You understand? Even before you give, already too much. So whenever I have a lot of money in the bank, I start to worry. It's trouble me. What to do now, next? How to spend that? Where? You know? So I have to start to organize. How to spend money? <laughs> of course, we spend it in all in a good way. You know what I mean? So whenever you see we print a lot of books, for free, uh, distributing and all that. As you know, when I have a lot of money in the bank <laughs> and I have to think of the way to share it with the world in the best possible way, understand? Yeah. So uh, that's why the world is, is topsy-turvy because people worry about having not enough money and here we worry when we have too much, or a little bit much, not too much really, understand? But what shall you do if you have about uh, the, uh, even a um, few hundred thousand dollars sitting in the bank? It's nonsense to let it sit there, right? The money has to circulate in the world and to, to produce something. And that's is, that is the way money has, has to be used, and that is good use of money. Otherwise, the world will go bankrupt. And the economical... Uh, uh, situation will become kind of uh, stagnant, you know, stopped. And it's no good for, for, for the whole world even. Fancy if everybody put money in the bank and nobody invests and nobody do anything. <laughs> and you just get some interest out of it and live a, a kingly life. Then the world have nothing, understand? After some years, it's, it's gone, gone down. That's what happened to the world right now. <laughs> Saving. And using credit, <laughs> the one who has save a lot for interest, and the one who doesn't have use credit. <laughs> so everybody wants something, but not get something out, but don't want to put something in. Understand? You cannot use credit if the money in the bank doesn't circulate and make interest to back up that credit. Understand? Therefore, the, the more credit cards, the more bankrupt. Trouble. Yes. Therefore, in the old time, in the Tao, Tao Te Ching, Lao Tzu, he says, in the ancient time, the great kings, they rule the nation without ruling. They uh, let the people free to do what they want. It is only because of these kings were true in their position, in their name. They were there just to serve people without selfish motive. In the Tibet, they use monks in the government in order to rule the nations. I dare not say it was the best, but it was better than 
many other countries. And should those monks have been enlightened, then it's a very good idea, very logical. Understand? But they have to be enlightened. They have to be enlightened. Otherwise, it's the same thing, same thing. They also get a lot of offering, a lot of salaries, and they decorate their house with all kind of beautiful and expensive things. Understand? Then it becomes the same thing again. Therefore, it is best for any government <laughs> if they get enlightenment. Then there can be any position. And their power can do it forever and the people will not complain. Mm. It's very difficult, very difficult. Mm? <laughs> so, okay, you know now that you are on the best path. I no need to advertise all the time. <laughs> But just between us, we talk again to remind each other to keep our practice and enjoy life at the same times. Whatever we have, we enjoy. But we do not, n must not seek and crave for enjoyment. That's all. Understand? Just be natural. Enjoy what you have. Keep what you earn and say what you can especially saving time for meditation and enjoy the rest. Yeah? Ah, okay. <clears throat> Everything I do is a teaching, even the way I dress, the way I do things. It's also teaching for you. So you know that the world is upside down. I wear so beautiful dress and so cheap. Half of your clothes, not even one quarter of the price of your clothes. And I look more elegant. <laughs> That's what you always say. And I also think that way. I prefer this than jean and all that. It's all expensive and doesn't look feminine at all. At least I become a feminine Buddha. I don't want a masculine. <laughs> I have not changed my sex after becoming Buddha. I have no intention to. It's nice to be a woman. We are the beautiful sex. Yeah? <laughs> I have not lost my femininity, right, through becoming enlightened. We have not need to. We're just the way we are. Be, be whatever it is. Yes. Enlightened is something inside and not outside. <laughs> hmm. You see, huh? You see, if I do not do it by example, you would not understand what I mean. Yeah, and you will not see it clearly if there's no, no pre, uh, obvious result. Understand? So I teach by examples more than by word. But since you <laughs> like to listen also because you have two ears, you think it's a pity not to use them. <laughs> I have to. Talk something. <laughs> also, to make it clearer for you, it's also fine. Yeah. Our ears are also there to hear good things. Yeah. Our eyes are also there to absorb good examples in order to enrich our life. Yes. So that we live a happier, a more fulfilled, and more glorious life until we leave this world and for a more glorious life. Mm. But we do not need to make this life ugly <laughs> before we leave it. <laughs> Give a bad impression for the next generation, you know. <laughs> so, you go back to where you used to be. <laughs> and we see each other again. Huh? Don't worry, this is still the same world. I have not escaped. <laughs> see you, huh? No problem. Mm -hmm. And if you want a goodbye touch, you can come. <laughs> it's not necessary, but I know you like it. <laughs>
And also, I started to play a little bit, you know. <laughs> I put some makeup or dress something, and I feel okay. It's, it's, it's just a game, you know. No need to be so so serious. It's okay. If the good one, then I train them and teach them better. And if a lousy one, I just leave them alone, then it's okay. Yeah. Just make it a game and play. Then it's, it's more bearable for me. Yeah. So I thought this is a good way, this is a good way, you know. That, uh, that we have so many things in, in videos and cassettes and, and pictures and books. Yeah, of different tastes, a different teach, different uh, uh, theory. Yeah, and I think work without play is no, no, no. Yes, it's no balance. Yes. So I started to play a little bit. <laughs> Before I also was very dead serious. I I didn't play, you know, and I thought because I didn't have disciples, then I did not know the stress of having so many disciples and. Also having to take care of them very well, as well. Not just to have disciples and then leave them grow the way they want. Yes, if uh, you can leave them the way they want, then no need to have disciples, right? Uh, because you must teach them and give them the right thinking. And for that, this is so burdensome <laughs> for me. You know, I, I'm more uh, not so serious. I cannot be too serious. And then so afterward, I start to play a little bit so I can rest. I can li last a little bit longer. <laughs> it, feels, it feels more, more relaxing yeah, for disciples also, that they're not so scared of me. <laughs> Come in I say, and look at me always like this, you know, <laughs> so serious. Because the human nature is very frail, very frail. If you expect too much of them in one go, they will, they will break, they will break. So I you play with them and teach them at the same time. Just like in the school, they also play with the teacher, yeah. Play football together or do some game together or camping together, yeah. When the teacher and the student mix together, and then they can uh, learn be better and they're not so scared of the teacher because the teacher cannot avoid sometimes to be serious, right, and to be strict. So if every day is strict like this, the, the student just look at the, the teacher and become tremble, <laughs> trembling already. And then he has no relaxed mind to accept and to uh, uh, understand what the teacher said. Yeah. I think uh, that's why we can uh, grow fast and also stay stable, because we play a little bit. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah. Share together, okay? Because this is only for me, so not that much. So you just share. It. If you want a lot, then you go down. <laughs> it's hard. Be careful. Share with each other. Yeah. I guess I'm just blessed by whatever you call that power. <laughs> so we have just enough of everything. You know, we don't have to struggle for finance. And we don't have to worry whether disciples come or go, uh, many or little. We just let things uh, become natural, you know, the way it is. It runs itself. If uh, disciples come a lot, okay. If they run away, okay. <laughs> and we don't have to struggle for financial uh, aspects so much. Therefore, we, we are very relaxed. And if the disciples like to contribute something of their own, we all let them be so, free, freely. If they don't want to come to view, also freely. Everything is just kind of uh, natural and free. So people feel more relaxed. Yes. I think it is better that way. I have been also in many places, and uh, it seems like too much restraint or too much uh, of, of something, pressure. Uh, so I hope that uh, in one hand, I'm very strict with the disciples, and teach them how to discipline themselves. But on the other hand, I'm not too strict as to give them fear and, and you know what I mean, and pressure that they could not grow. <laughs> For I'm trying at least 
not deliberately to stop their growth and spontaneity. Yeah, not deliberately. And I try very hard in some way uh, to uh, relax with them. But this is difficult, huh? Inside, communicate with Master. Yes. That is the main thing. Yes, yes, yes. I feel with you, I am communicating. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Everybody feel that about you. <laughs> <laughs> that you come here, you have only Master in your mind, nothing else. <laughs> Even when you dance yesterday, the monks, they say, you when you dance, you never keep your eyes off for Master. <laughs> they say it like that. Uh, that reason I am giving you. Actually, I don't know anything about that song, anything about the dance. Really? Only I know the theme. This is a Ganges nectar. Uh -huh. The theme I knew. Yes. And when I saw you, you were wearing Ganges dresses. Ganges? Dress. Yeah. Uh -huh. They showed in Mahabharata. The uh -huh. Ganges. They show the Ganges. Uh -huh. They show her in that same dress. Uh -huh. So when I saw you. I became different. Yes. So I I had a devotion for the Ganges yes. and I danced just like that. Just like that. And everybody <laughs> loved it so much. You hear so many applause. Devotion Ganges. <laughs> because I felt I'm dancing before Ganges. Yes, yes, yes. Not before an ordinary person. Yes, yes. <laughs> Understand? I feel like that. Yes, yes. Actually, I didn't know the song. I don't know anything about it. Mm. Just they gave me yesterday. And I danced. Was it the dress of Ganges? No, not yesterday. Uh, not exactly, but similar. Yeah, I yeah. mean, fully white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fully white. Give you inspiration. And uh, give me inspiration. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> good. Hmm. This is a very good one. The monks made it by our own kitchen. The children monk. Yeah, yeah. Children monk. I will try to enjoy this with you. Hmm. Thank May the grace and blessings you receive from God guide you throughout your life. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash bnd.